Hey y'all, it's Alec with Sharing the Journey. We're here in Iowa, Louisiana at Blue Heron RV Park. We stayed here about five years ago. We actually worked here for a couple of weeks and uh, we were passing through and we booked a night and uh, we love it here. I'm gonna show you around. People are going, where in the world is Iowa, Louisiana? So if you're familiar with the Lake Charles area, <clears throat> we're just down the road. I would say it's about a 10 or 15 minute ride down I-10 to get to Lake Charles. So this is a nice location. We are just a short distance off of I-10. There's a spring market next door. So while you're here, you can get groceries and they've got gas prices that are better than the prices at the Loves up by the interstate. So uh, it's a win-win. So when you pull in the entrance right here, you would take a right and it's a short distance to that building right over there. That is a registration, bathhouse, and laundry facility. So before we go look at the uh, sites, we will take a look at the laundry and bathroom facilities. We will not be going in the office. There's really nothing in there but a desk for registration. They do not have a store here. So this is the back side of the registration area here at Blue Heron RV Park. They've got regular steps and handicap ramp. Come in the laundry. They've got five washers, five dryers. It looks like dryers are $2 and so is your laundry. Just off the laundry room, you come in, they've got bathroom facility, toilet, sink, water room for changing, and a full handicap accessible shower. There appears to be three, two, appears to be two different facilities. And it looks like they got a campground kitty. Little tuxedo like our cat Puma. So there's a total of 50 spots. And most of them are pull-throughs. The pull-throughs average 70 feet long. Practically all the sites are concrete. They've got back-end sites along the edges. And pull-throughs down the middle. Let's take a look. So here's site 24. You can see my camper right over there. We're on site 19. And they're nice large sites. Looks like it's time for somebody to come in with the lawnmower. They said they've been getting lots of rain. In each pedestal, there's a 20, 30, and 50 amp plug. So it looks like you would come down this row and you would either go to the right or to the left to pull into your site. And you can see by that fifth wheel down there, they can accommodate big sites. We did not try the internet here because we have our own, but in each section of the park, you can see they have an internet tower. Now on the perimeter, they've got these big, uh, here's one of those internet towers I was talking about. They've got a really good size back end site. But what I think is cool is on all their paved sites, they have these really cute lamp posts. They all turn on by themselves. In the back of the park, they have overflow parking. Now we paid I think we paid $56 for a full hookup paved um, site last night that's paved. And I think that's a pretty good deal to be right off the interstate. We usually do a lot of boondocking when we travel, but if you've watched any of my other videos, you know we're suffering a generator problem. On the other side of the park, they've got overflow. 
and these are 50 amp services but it's water and electric only I do not know how much these are but if you just need water and electric sites aren't as big but if you're traveling you got a quick overlay want to save some money you can use one of those spots I thought I'd show you you know how much room there are on the sites so we're in site 19 we're 35 feet 3 inches I've got room up front I've got my motor home and we just stopped for the night so all we do is plug in I've got the Jeep still hooked up to the back and I've got room at the back so as they say there's plenty of room in the end here at Blue Heron RV Park well that's a quick overview of Blue Heron RV Park they do have a trash dumpster for you here the amenities are trash laundry facility huge showers and a great clean place to stay when you're traveling right off of I-10 in Louisiana let me know if you've ever stayed here or if you plan on staying here or if you've booked a night give John a call at Blue Heron RV Park he'd love to hear from you he's a good friend of mine every time we come through here we stay thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one